In match problem four, we want to find the area bounded by f of x equals 6 minus x squared and x. So this problem is a little bit different because they're not giving us an interval to consider. They're not giving us any equations for vertical lines that are um, binding our function or separating our function somewhere. So in this case, what it's going to come down to is looking at, again, the function that takes on the larger value the function that takes on some smaller value, and then some region that's just naturally enclosed between those two. So in this case, when we plot these two graphs, we have this, I don't know, it's not really a particular shape, but kind of a half circle-ish sort of shape um, that's enclosed by, by those two graphs. So what we need to do is figure out what point this is and what point this is. So looking at the graph, this appears to be x equals negative 3, and this appears to be x equals 2. So we definitely want to find the area that's bounded between these two curves by where they just naturally intersect with each other. And there's two ways to verify what those intersection points are. You could either use the intersect feature on your calculator, or we could just take these two equations, 6 minus x squared and x, and just set those equal to each other. So collecting all those terms on one side could give us x squared plus x minus 6 is equal to 0, which we could factor as x plus 3 times x minus 2 equals 0, which means our two points of intersection would be at x equals negative 3 and x equals 2. So a little bit of relatively quick algebra, or again, if you use the intersect feature on your calculator, you could plot these two graphs and figure out the x-coordinates for both of those intersection points. So now that we know those intersection points, we know that we're going to be integrating from negative 3 to 2 of 6 minus x squared minus x dx or the integral from negative 3 to 2 of 6 minus x squared minus x. Just writing that a little bit more simply by getting rid of those inter interior parentheses. So integrating this is going to give us 6x minus x cubed over 3 minus x squared over 2 which then we want to evaluate from x equals negative 3 to x equals 2. So this will give us 12 minus 8 thirds minus 4 halves minus negative 18 plus 27 thirds minus 9 halves, which all simplified will give us 125 over 6.